I used to do that a lot, Flakes. Like internalizing self doubt. I used to think it was better than getting confident and being disappointed. Like it's less painful, I guess. But it also stops you from trying new things. I'd rather be confident and laugh it off. Well, that's a good mindset to have, yeah. I have terrible ego problem anyway, just some things to work on. I literally cry when people call me out in Overwatch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, as, as, uh, because life's too short to not laugh at yourself. And Guru says, self-doubt not fun, especially when it materializes. Oh yeah. When when life confirms your doubts. <laughs> like after watching Like Everything Everywhere All at Once, I've um, been introduced by that movie to the philosophy of like absurdism. Which is what I used to call optimistic nihilism, then later I found out that a word for that already exists. <laughs> and then and then I was fascinated. As I saying, I think I have an uh, unhealthy mentality uh, that I'm amazing and everyone else is stupid. What do you think? Except Flag, she's smart. Yeah, I mean, is that unhealthy? I think everyone else is stupid part is probably going to like bite you in the ass someday. As is has is a very emotionally stable slash healthy slash mature and is a great example for me to follow but I still find myself being a brat and has says your opinion is stupid got him I made myself laugh that's all that matters but you want people to laugh with you no I think um self-doubting is too comfortable you gotta be a little bit uncomfortable in order to grow. Like, Haz's mindset works best in terms of like moving forward, right? Trying uh, something that you've never done before, even if you feel like you'll never do it right. But at the same time, at the same time, you're feeling like you always do things great can be very blinding too. I don't know, find the balance. <laughs> Meet in the middle, you two. I don't care if the whole world thinks I'm a moron as long as I I don't and Fleck don't, I don't care. Mm. You ever think about um the what ifs in terms of like fame? Let's say you get famous over this one thing, right? Uh, you do something and then it becomes a meme and then you turn that into business and then you stay being an influencer People are still watching you You slip out an n-word <laughs> and, then, and then a lot of people find you to be very very unpleasant You know yourself that you made a mistake and you feel like uh, you know like the reaction is Not unproportioned disproportionate like, not fair, almost. Let's say that you argued back, thinking that you're in the right. You admitted to it already. You apologize, and they just keep going. If you're on the mindset of, um, like, if I'm fine, then nothing else matters. If, if my family is okay, then nothing else matters, right? If you are put in that situation of you being against the world. I'm. If I was in that shoes, I would worry about the unintended consequences that goes to my family. Like to best avoid that, I feel that I would do my best to be good to others as much as I can. You know, you said everybody else is stupid, no? 
<laughs> oh, am I just mixing it up now? Yes, but it's not me against them. I don't care about the world. It's me against myself. Okay. Oh, you mean like, um... Obviously, you're not going out of your way to cause harm, but... At the same time, it's nobody's business. <laughs> did, did I summarize that correctly? <laughs> I can't do um, Tate imi imitation. Okay. <laughs> I really wanted to do like Andrew Tate imitation, but... I can't, I can't get it right. And I don't wanna... See? Self-doubt. There it is. Women are stupid! See? <laughs> <laughs> at least I tried. That says, like, when I worked at my England job, everybody thought I was... I was weird and made fun of me, but it didn't matter because I knew Flack thought I was cool, and I think I'm cool, so fuck the co-workers. And Flack says, I feel like has... Uh, I feel like to has, nobody matters unless they prove that they do. And like he cares about his friends and a little bit of what they think. But if they disapprove, it won't shake him. Hmm. Never? Is there a moment when somebody was right about him? <laughs> and then and then Flake was kinda like, you know, she, she was low-key kinda <laughs> like listening in. There's never a moment like that. Nobody ever tried to correct Haz and you thought that maybe they're right? Lakes? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. I've never had that experience with Jelly, but I know... I know that uh, somebody said something about me and Jelly also thinks so too and then she talked to me about it. I just don't remember what it was about. Alex says no because he takes corrections in his stride. It's a balance because he always is wanting to improve and hone his skills. And says I think it stems from my toxic masculinity and <laughs> my need to be confident. Uh -huh. I think there's no way, there's no wrong way of living as long as you're breathing. If you want to hurry towards death, that's also, you know, your choice in my opinion, it's just... I hope everybody breathes as much as they can before they go.